The foundation for the Wharton School is intellectual capital. And most simply, it's recruiting the most brilliant faculty, bringing in the most brilliant students, and hiring the most brilliant staff. You cannot be a world-class business school unless you get those factors right. So that's the starting point. We then build three pillars on, those, uh, on this foundation. The first of those we'll call social impact, uh, the second global presence, and the third we'll call innovation. When it comes to social impact, the idea is very straightforward that we must be a force for good in the world. Social impact is an integral part of the fabric of every one of the major courses we teach at Wharton. Social impact is how you impact as a business all of your stakeholders. And your stakeholders are not just customers who buy from you. They're communities that you live in. There's the environment that you work in. There's the government that you work with. There's all of your suppliers and how they treat their workers. All of those are important issues that you cannot ignore as a business person anymore. And if you're really knowledgeable about those issues and understand that there are trade-offs involved and that the long-term value of your company to your shareholders depends on how well you understand and respond to all of these stakeholders is, is crucial. We are a global business school. Our students come from many countries in the world and at the MBA level, almost 40% are international. About 35% of our faculty is international. And uh, our curriculum and the kind of courses we offer must be international. Anyone who holds a Wharton degree has to be prepared for a truly interconnected world where markets, product markets are interconnected, financial markets are interconnected where the fortunes of the firm of one of a firm in one country are affected by its operations in another country they have to be prepared for that and they have to understand systematic ways of thinking about that that's what our curriculum attempts to do our courses tend to be globally oriented in nature where appropriate but most importantly we also want our students to have immersion experiences in different parts of the world because that's a different kind of learning that's not classroom learning that is in the field you learn about local customs, local ways of doing business. The third pillar is, is innovation, um, and again, we've institutionalized this recently. The Innovation Initiative at Wharton is essentially an investment in some centralized resources for stimulating innovation at the school. Uh, innovation is particularly important right now because business schools face two major disruptions. The first is globalization, and, and that means that we need to be increasingly aware of the global environment and preparing our students to operate globally. And the second is major developments in information technology, which present both threats and opportunities. I think you could argue that all advantage in business is the result of innovation. It's the result of having done something new and different that gives you a leg up on the competition. One of the things that's critically important for our students is that they can lead that innovation in the organizations where they work. We're 129 years old. It's been a good ride, <laughs> but we can't rest on our laurels, and we must always be thinking of how we will continue to be the leading business school as we head into the next 129 years. <laughs>